What's going on everyone? I'm on this really amazing rickety push bike which I feel like it might break and snap in half under my big ass. So here I am, the psychedelic meathead and I am gonna stop being so bloody lazy and start to vlog more because I miss vlogging, I miss sharing with you guys my journey of life um, just to show you what's going on in day-to-day -day life and wow that's a big bump there goes my bum hole <laughs> um so today i'm because the day's pretty overcast today so i'm going on a little bike ride it's heading towards the evening so i don't know how far i'll get um if i stay out when it's dark i mean which is fine by me this is just a straight road but i might get eaten by some sort of crazy animal uh, which always makes things a little bit more exciting so Stick with me for this journey of I got no idea where I'm gonna be. <laughs> uh, well, I got no idea what this building is, but it's, I mean, it looks like, uh, you know, like on Power Rangers, you know, when they have their like secret layer and you have like, was it Alpha? And um, I mean, was Alpha the robot? And then who was the dude, the hologram like dude? I mean, it kind of reminds me of that. Have I found the lair of the Power Rangers? I don't know, but it's like these egg like shapes. And I mean, it could be a place to make a time machine. I mean, there's people shouting right now. <laughs> no idea what the fuck is going on. I'm getting a little bit hot, sweaty and spicy. But just look at this view. Like, I mean, I'm also close to the ocean as well. And to be able to adventure into the mountains. I mean, you can see the clouds are kind of in the hills, you know. And to be able to see this on my doorstep almost every single day is just amazing. I'm going to go deeper in. And I mean, I don't want to be out here when it becomes like too dark, but we'll see wherever the day takes me. I also have an idea to microdose with mushrooms and come here really early in the morning, drink some coffee, take a couple of uh, maybe a bit heavier than a microdose just to get into that feeling of the magicalness of the mushroom and just connect with the nature because there are waterfalls here, there are rivers. Um, we had some drought, but the weather's starting to change. So the riverbeds are starting to become more full. So the waterfalls are going to start flowing oh, just more magically. I've seen uh, The Hills of Eyes. I've seen Wrong Turn movies. I mean, it's a little bit of a shady situation right now. I have no signal on my phone and I mean, I can be ambushed from any direction. But at the same time, what is life if you don't take a bloody risk? So, what am I doing? What have I been up to? I've been back in South America for nearly two months. I mean, I must have some sort of uh, stories and stuff to share with people. Am I just bumming around and going on bike rides and swimming in the ocean? Or is there more to the story to what's going on? So I'm going to plug an amazing opportunity. <laughs> uh, anybody is uh, welcome to come and join. So next month is april and because of the situation in the world and there's lockdowns left right uh up and down and wherever you are in the world it seems that ecuador is the only place where you can travel more freely even peru is behaving a little bit strange and that's still off the cards at the moment so what's the plan how do we adapt and overcome from this situation right so the plan is we are going to be holding a couple of retreats 
Yep, working with ayahuasca. So if anybody watching this video is interested, please send me a message. Um, message me on Instagram, R-E-M-M-B-E-R-W-H-Y-89 or Facebook, Ben Johnston, or email me, um, dyslexicgaining <laughs> at gmail.com and I can send you information. So the plan is we're going to bring over two Shibibo maestros. Uh, they are indigenous to the Amazon jungle, uh, to like Bacalpa. Uh, in Bacalpa, you have um, a small village called San Francisco, which is a place where the indigenous people live. Um, and luckily over the years, I've been able to travel back and forward to this magical place and work with such amazing teachers in the medicine world. Um, so yeah, the opportunity is to come to Ecuador everything i can give you all the information you need if you're interested i don't want to make this video just about that um but again i am excited because it's just to get back into the world of medicine if you've been following me long enough you realize that i mean this has become a very big part of my life but at the same time you know it's opened up these doors to travel and to be in a place where i can be kidnapped and uh i mean I've seen the hills of eyes, you know, I know what kind of happens to people like me if I get kidnapped. Uh, my head will be on a stick somewhere. So, fingers crossed that doesn't, that doesn't happen, you know. But, you know, I keep doing this, but with my hand, I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's my new hand gestures. <laughs> I'm going to try and not make a habit of that. Uh, as you can see, I got myself a bike. It's, it was my birthday a few weeks ago, so I'm now 32. I think when I started making these videos, I was in my early 20s. Like, uh, I went back to watch one of the videos of when I was 26 a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm in the gym and it's like, <laughs> you know, a motivational video about me talking to uh, a guy who was misunderstood when he was a boy. And again, you know, it's beautiful to see that version of myself and see the version of myself today. It's been a... Um, a tremendous journey of this life. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to carry on with this bike ride and I'll show you guys where I'm going to end up. Somewhere mystical and magical, I suppose. Ciao for now. <laughs> I mean, you don't ever discover something if you don't go on a journey to discover something, right? And there's this house here which looks abandoned. I mean, like, is it? Is anybody really living here? I don't want to get too close just in case I'm mistaken and I'm actually trespassing on someone's property, but it kind of looks like no one has been here for a very, very long time. Um, but that's the thing with just this journey of life is, I mean, how are you ever going to discover anything new about yourself if you don't travel, if you don't experience anything in your life, if you just always procrastinate and think what if 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 because what if <laughs> what if you decide to go on a crazy journey and discover something like this uh i mean just look look at this uh you see just these beautiful hills here this magical house just in the middle of uh in the middle of nowhere like i walk back a little bit i don't want to be eaten by snakes um because that's going to be a very bad part of this journey i am 100 percent sure no one is living here so i'm not gonna be disrespecting anything of anybody because you know that's the last thing i wanna i wanna do um but just i mean like look at it you could live in the jungle quite happily you know like some people who don't really like people too much this is a good place to be I mean, I'm not that far away from the from the city, um, but I'm not that close to it either. So it's like a perfect place to kind of find yourself. I mean, to have a dieta, <laughs> this is a good place to be because it's just perfect location. But again, there could be some crazy stories here to why no one's living here. You don't really know. Um, everyone has their story and every place you visit will have its... It's stories, you know, and there's life. We need to be the storyteller because if we are not the teller of stories, what do we leave behind? I mean, I don't have any children and 
I don't really plan on having any children. Um, I'm 32 years old. I mean, it could be a time for me to start thinking of that kind of stuff, but I have nieces. And to be the crazy uncle who goes on these wild adventures into jungles and the other side of the world and just have these beautiful experiences is... I'm creating a story, I know, and it's good to have something to just talk about. And, okay, with life, <laughs> I'm getting excited. Because I'm excited with life. I mean, I've spoken to people on the phone who just want to speak about other people's experiences. Don't do it, like, who are you? Like, don't become boring in this world, like, there's so much to do and to accomplish and to create your story. If someone's like, hey Ben, how are you doing? I'm going to be like, wow, where do I begin? I've got a magical story to share you. And some people don't like it. And they're like, oh, I just wanted a simple, I'm okay. Oh, then we can't be friends because that's not how I answer questions. If you ask me a question, I'm going to go on a tantrum. I'm going to go in some entwining journey to give you an answer, which is from my experiences. Because that's what life is about. It's about having these amazing experiences and embarking and discovering yourself. <laughs> I'm really fucking happy for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but just really happy right now, like full of life, excitement, and just, I don't know, just happy for whatever is going to be thrown at me next because I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still breathing, you know. I've overdosed on cocaine in the back of a friend's car like I've injected myself with steroids and embarked on journeys into the jungle and pu puked, <laughs> puked my brains out um, and for me my experience of life the world is still spinning there's a fucking pandemic and I'm in the jungle <sighs> I mean I couldn't make this shit up if I was like 16 years old me and someone would tell me that there's going to be a global pandemic. And I'm like, what did I do in that period? Well, when it broke out, you were in Peru. What the fuck was I doing in Peru? What the fuck is Peru? I didn't know where Peru was when I was 16. I wasn't exactly a smart kid. <laughs> and to tell me that I would then be back out in South America, like, again, I'm in Ecuador. And I'm in a, a red... Uh, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Uh... Oh, here comes the car. Uh, yeah, Ecuador is classed as a red... Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. But, I mean, a country where you can't travel back to your own country, which is quite funny. But well, hey, hola. Uh, so even if I wanted to go back to sunny England, I mean, that kind of choice has been made up for me. Uh, because I can't. <laughs> but I'm fine with that. I'm being eaten by mosquitoes, so I need to move on to the next leg of this... I don't know, this uh, resurrection of the vlog. <laughs> Can you hear that it's starting to rain? More and more birds are starting to perk up and sing their melodies into the jungle. I'm gonna bring you to a theory of mine. Here we go, the theories of Ben Johnston. Every animal of the rainforest has its own unique song, right? Now, when you go and sit in a forest and you hear noise of birds singing, I mean, there's a choice to just hear a bird sing. But what happens when you go and you decide to feel the bird sing? Now, there's been studies done on the brainwaves, what animals give off. Um, when I say brainwaves, it's probably not the correct word to use, but I will correct myself. <laughs> like binaural beats. Like when you put a set of headphones on and you listen to binaural beats, they're able to change the patterns of the brain waves, right? The same as like birds or frogs. Um, there was a video going around a few months ago of a frog in like a, a small pond and it was croaking and the vibration it was given off, you could see the ripples in the water, which is just beautiful. Like similar to when the Kurundero sings the Icaros when you're in ceremony, they're going in and they're working with the, with the energy field around the body, like a spiritual surgery. The same as the birds in the trees or any other animal you hear, which sings their beautiful songs. 
Some of the songs can be a mating call. Some of the songs can be a defense mechanism. Some of the songs are there to go into the brain. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just talking shit. I'm talking out my ass. But I believe like there's such a symbiotic connection between humans and plants and animals. What in the Western world we just overlook and we miss the magic of life. But the more I spend time in this world of plants and medicines and the more I kind of open my mind to understand and accept the fact that we know nothing. <laughs> we think we're intelligent because we're smart with our group of friends and it's cute. It's like we're the most intelligent people with our friends because we know one more fact than they might. But on the grand scheme of it, we don't know shit. <laughs> and I think that's the beautifulness of life is accepting that you don't know anything and not being so stuck in your ego that you must know everything and I must be right. La 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 la. In my journey of my life and my story, I tell myself, I am right. How can you ever learn anything? <laughs> I accept that I'm wrong more times than I'm right, but I'm willing to learn and to fall down and learn. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? What the fuck was that? I mean, that sounded like a monkey or something, like a, a lion, a tiger, a bear. But the other animals have stopped. There's a little bit of croaking going on there. Yeah, I think it's time for me to go <laughs> and carry on on my journey. <laughs> See, I wasn't lying. I can be in the jungle and be next to the ocean at the same time. Uh, it's calm around here a little bit and you'll see that there's mountains over there. And, you know, I still have no idea what that crazy noise was in the jungle. I mean, it could have been anything. Um, I didn't get eaten, so that's kind of a positive. Um, but I'm gonna go and investigate there a bit more deeper, uh, maybe tomorrow. It's just that I kind of left a little bit late. I went into town to meet my friend for coffee in the afternoon, and before I knew it, it was already quite late. So I didn't want to go there and find myself in complete and utter darkness, and then that thing comes and makes a big noise and takes me away and you never see me ever again. I mean, in my years of my life, I've learned how to be a little bit more sensible with my choices. I mean, I still make some really bad choices sometimes, but that's just the part of life. And um, no matter what, we are always gonna be a student of the universe. So thank you everyone for following me on this magical journey of my or day of going on my nice bike ride. And um, it's been good to catch up. Any questions, anything you want to see, any topics you want me to discuss. I mean, over my 32 years on this journey of life, I have embarked in a few different places and journeys of life. So, I mean, I'm no expert on anything by any stretch of the imagination, but I have, I have stories and I have experience in some fields, which is wisdom in itself, because the only way you can really become wise is to have an experience <laughs> so I mean you can end the video now if you want or you can carry on looking at the beautifulness of uh, of Ecuador um, and I know some of you are really wishing right now that I fall off the bike because it will make for hilarious content but going back to what I said was uh, <laughs> I've got to make better choices in my life and I mean I'll get a few giggles <laughs> don't want to risk getting a bad knee or twisting my ankle. Well, I did break my leg on a bike in 2001. Hola. Um, so I don't want that situation to happen again because it wasn't fun. Quick story, 2001, uh, the first day of the summer holidays, I go out on a bike ride with some friends. I ride into a tree and I um, shatter my kneecap. I can't walk for three months. So I spent that whole summer holiday in bed. I mean, all your friends are outside having a good time and there you are stuck in your room with not much to do. <laughs> I mean, so be mindful of your choices in life. Be courageous by all stretch of the imagination. I'm a big believer in 
the courage of life. It's beautiful, hola amigo. It's uh, beautiful to live with courageousness, uh, but also don't become too stupid. Like, don't make any really, really bad choices. Sometimes you wanna take a deep breath and really think things through because you can find yourself in some interesting situations. But I also believe there's a magic in these interesting situations. If I didn't take the risks I did in my life, I wouldn't be where I am today. So again, by all means of the imagination, embark in the journey of being courageous. And if you guys decided to stick with me and not finish the video, I mean, this reminds me of like uh, Grand Theft Auto or something, you know? <laughs> Oh, if you got that, I know there's a church up there and I believe there's an orphanage as well and some sort of satellites. I've never actually been this far down on the beach, so it's a new experience for me as well. But in that note, it's the perfect time to log out. Log out, I mean vlog out. And these birds are all doing some sort of dance. I'm guessing there's something over there, which is really interesting. Um, okay, yeah, so until next time, keep it real, stay cool, be courageous, but be thoughtful at the same time. Like, think through what you're gonna do and then live with courage. I mean, having a building there, building your house, I mean, that's courage, but that's that kind of, um, I don't know if I've got that in the frame. I mean, that's courageousness, but it's kind of stupid courage because in a few more years, that house is going to be in the ocean, unfortunately. Again, try to uh, also look for the future at the same time. Okay, keep it real, everyone. Uh, peace.